Hey Leo, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay. <clears throat> so in the past, definitely I see that there was someone here who cheated, lied. There's a very deceptive energy out here, okay, in the past year. Now, deception, of course, with the seven of swords, this does not have to be cheating, lying only. This can be cheating, lying in a way, like doesn't mean a third party was involved. It just means that someone was trying to escape the situation, okay. I'm getting more like someone who was trying to escape commitment, okay. They thought they'll get away with something. That's what happened in the past here. I think you're fed up of waiting for this person. That's what I'm getting here. This is a long distance relationship. Okay. And you've been given, you've given this person a lot of time. Uh, you've been waiting very patiently for this person to come towards you. Okay. It's like you made a decision. You want to stick to it. Okay. So uh, probably the decision was to wait for this person to come back because you realize that they will come back. They're going to feel guilty and they'll probably come back and things will be okay between you guys. Okay. So you waited and waited and waited for this person. Now what's happening here is that um, you want a conversation. Okay. You want a conversation. You want clarity out here but the thing is that this person out here right seems to be um someone who now wants a reconciliation with you may not be like a full-blown reconciliation but i'm definitely getting someone who wants like a conversation reconciliation with you okay because in the current situation we do see a brand new beginning here someone's coming to there is an opportunity here okay to start from scratch but this opportunity with the ace of pentacles is something that where someone wants to offer you something stable something committed something solid tangible all right something that is a no-nonsense new beginning okay so this is a lot of stability here and what's influencing this is that there's someone here who's definitely wanting you know who's um finally accepted defeat they realize they, they're changing their ways okay so you're dealing with someone who's constantly sabotaging the connection someone who's running from emotional attachment someone who was very detached or someone who was very afraid to be vulnerable hence this person uh constantly kept on pushing you away you know they kept doing things or saying things that pushed you away. They wouldn't reply to your text. They'd make you wait for two, three days for a text. Or, you know, they'll just keep you wondering what the fuck is going on. And uh, eventually they would even blame you as though as you are wrong. You're the one who's doing all the wrong things here, whereas they're not. Okay, they're on the right side. So yeah, someone who usually just say wants to win at every cost okay now they're realizing their mistake they see you walking away and now they want to come back and they want to turn a new leaf all right you my friend i feel like you're losing your patience i don't think you want to wait for this person anymore because you feel there are too many obstacles too many delays too many setbacks okay and you are somewhere somehow you kind of feel that this was a wrong move okay you probably feel that you're not very happy with the outcome okay you thought you'd wait and things will get better, but you're not really happy with where, how things are going. In the near future, I feel that this person out here is still going to drive you nuts. Okay, because there is still this waiting game that I see from this person out here. The problem here is that you are wishing, hoping that this person comes towards you so you can have this conversation with them, right? You want to approach this person. You want to take up an opportunity where you guys can talk it out and, you know, probably make things right. Even if you don't want to make things right, don't start cursing down in the comments below. Maybe you just want to talk it out so you can get some closure or maybe you just want to talk it out so that you know that what really went wrong so you can peacefully move on from that person, okay? But I do see you as someone you know, very uh, aggressive and uh, someone who's wanting to, uh, you have a lot of thoughts in your mind is what I'm getting, but you're definitely wanting to approach this, you know, if there is an opportunity, you definitely want to talk to this person and clear the air out, all right? Whether you want to start a new beginning with them or whether you just want to, you know, release yourself, that's up to you, but you definitely want some kind of clarity out here is what I'm getting here, okay? Now, I feel this person's still going to make you wait in the near future, which is going to, you know, literally, you're just going to blow the lid off because I see you as being very impatient. It's like you cl clearly want from this person, like, is it a fucking yes or a no? You don't want a solution. You want a resolution. Yes or a fucking no. I need to know. We need to leave. I mean, I need to go, you know. Is it happening? Is it not happening? And that's why I feel on your mind, you are so aggressively wanting to approach the situation, okay? But the kind of person that you're dealing with uh, is someone here who is uh, lacking the confidence they're in their pride, their ego. There's like, I think there could be like these overinflated egos between you both where you want to talk, but you're not talking because you're fed up in a way. This person wants to talk. They want to come towards you with a new beginning here. There is an opportunity here where you start guys and start new. But this person has that self-doubt, okay? They're not sure. 
if uh, this is going to be able to work out because it didn't work out in the past all right so there's a lot of disappointment coming from this person here okay they feel they won't be supported enough by you okay to move this forward more than anything i think it's the it's the disappointment that is coming off okay you're walking away emotionally i feel that you're detaching yourself now it's more like you know what i waited enough I, I wanted you to come. I thought it'll work out, but you know, you're just taking your sweet own sweet time, and I I ain't got no time for this. Okay, so yeah, I do see you as you emotionally detaching. You probably finding that emotional strength that you didn't get all this while, and just moving forward. Okay, moving forward in a way where you just feel probably there are better things out there, or probably temporarily you feel it's best to disconnect. Okay uh you're not taking any action towards them okay uh i feel that there are a lot of opportunities where you can also take action but i think you're choosing not to okay you're choosing to take up that passive approach okay if this is not you i feel in your emotions i feel this is the person here who you feel that needs to take action but they're just not doing what they gotta do okay but i feel this is you just being very passive you're letting you're waiting for things to happen okay and like the king of wands energy the masculine energy where they get up and get things done right you're waiting for it to fall into your lap very passive approach here although the contradiction out here is that you are really really wanting to talk to this person okay anyways eventually they're coming back okay with the page of cups here as the outcome here they are coming towards you they're coming towards you with an apology or emotional communication some kind of communication that has emotions involved here right so you stand your ground you're doing well what's the ace of pentacles here in the current situation ah positive mindset i like that keep doing what you're doing okay now the positive mindset can be in two ways either you have a positive mindset that things will work out eventually that shit's gonna work out between you both or like maybe if it didn't work out with this person maybe it wasn't meant to be it's still a positive mindset right like either or so i feel the positive mindset that hope hopefulness and having the faith and trust in the universe right where you're standing the test of time where universe is testing of how testing your uh, faith or testing you how badly you want this it's coming you have the opportunity here okay this person takes it up or not is going to be up to you and whether you guys invest and nurture this seed that has been gifted to you as a blessing from the universe you accept it or not it's going to be up to you okay so the smallest conversation between you guys could be that opportunity that golden opportunity all right what's the five of swords in reverse yep they're coming in expressing how they feel they want to tell you how they feel they want to apologize this is opening up wanting to be vulnerable you know see that's what i'm saying right this person didn't want to be vulnerable before okay now they realize that you're the one they want they want to be vulnerable they want to open up they want to tell you how they really really feel and there's like a lot of emotions that they feel for you okay this person really feels deep for you they love you they want to come in and tell you that okay and they're very sorry for what they did is what i'm getting here what's the knight of swords on your mind uh -huh. so either you're waiting for this person to come towards you okay or um i feel you're emotionally shut down okay because for you this was unrequited love i feel you have an opportunity here to start some from, from scratch with this person here you are backing up okay you're blocking your love you're emotionally blocking yourself okay from opening up to this person out here okay like i said i'm seeing opportunities here okay this person is going to come towards you and express what they really feel you're the one who's pretty blocked out here i feel more than anything with the right of soldier you're in this aggressive mode okay where you really want to fight it out you want to argue you know it's like um the knight of swords is not really the most sophisticated uh talker right like they come in they want to come in with no emotions and they just want to talk to the point they're very logical very rash you know what i'm saying that's the kind of energy that's on your mind because you're emotionally shutting yourself up because you're either you're into depression or whatever happened between you guys in the past year it's it's um you're having a hard time letting that go okay you're having a hard time forgiving this person for that three of wands in reverse yeah see you're in this point of where you don't really want reconciliation nah uh, i feel you're isolating yourself i don't feel you know what i feel that you want to spend time alone i don't think you want a reconciliation with this person i think you're just fed up of waiting yeah i think you're fed up of waiting here because with the queen of swords and the three of cups in reverse here 
I feel you're in this mode where you just want to put your emotions on the side. You're, you're probably putting up a show. That's what I'm getting at. I think you're wearing a false mask out here. You have the emotions out here, but you're just trying your best to put out that show here because you don't want to get vulnerable this time. You don't want to show this person how much they mean to you or how much you love them or how much you still really want them because you know that you tried that in the past and it didn't work out for you. Okay. So you're going to put up the show with the Queen of Swords. You're the logical, the cold, you know, the, 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 um, the main one out here okay you don't mind rocking the boat out here is what i'm getting here okay because i don't think you're in any mood of reconciliation this person could have put you in a third party situation maybe there's a third person that came between you guys doesn't have to be a romantic connection but definitely a third person that interfered between you guys all right or uh, your person was you know listening to other people's opinions something of that sort okay but you're in no mood of a reconciliation you just want to spend time alone you want to take a break or you're just not in the mood of in a re mood of getting back together with this person out here maybe this person is someone you know who probably friend zone you and you probably know that and you're in no mood of being friend zone is what i'm getting here seven of swords what's here why is the seven of swords here ah. this person sees you as their wish for ferment okay now this person out here this person's a very, very emotionally attached to you, very emotionally codependent on you, okay? Till they didn't meet you, they didn't realize. I mean, actually, I'd say that till the time you didn't leave them or, you know, they didn't realize that there's no one who compares to you. They didn't realize that you're the one that they want. And now with the Nine of Cups, they realize that you you, 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 you have like, like out of their checklist, right? You have a tick mark on all of them, okay? Yes, 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 yes. Like, yes, Leo's the one I want, okay? So um, that's what I'm getting here. But this person, you mean a lot to this person, okay? You make them very, very happy. And um, so the reason they ran away from you is because they were very emotionally attached to you, all right? Not because they didn't love you. So I'd say they left because they loved you, okay? You know, there are a lot of people here who try to run away from that kind of love, okay? Because they don't know if they can keep up with you. They don't know if they can stay as loyal as you. It can be a lot of things, right? It can just be various things. But they knew that you meant a lot to them. You still do mean a lot to them, okay? And I think this is the only thing they thought about. And I think they were thinking logically, not thinking emotionally like you. That's why you got hurt. All right, temperance in reverse. Yeah. The more this muscle makes you wait, right? The more clarity you get. It's, that's what I'm getting here. They make you wait. And the more they make you wait, right, the more clarity you're getting is what I'm getting here, okay? Because I feel that uh, earlier you were living in your dream world. You had a lot of illusions. You were probably were in that fairy tale land, you know, where you thought probably this is what it is and that's how it's going to work out. And this, they love you, you love them, and it's all going to be like perfect by the end of time, right? I think the more they make you wait, right, the more clarity you're getting towards yourself and you're trying to see things more realistically. Okay, I think you're having a more clearer view about what you want or what the entire scenario is. It's all in front of you. Okay, you're no more shutting your eyes and wanting to live in a dream world anymore. Okay, you're being more practical is what I'm saying. And that's only because thanks to this person that they're making you wait. Okay, eight of cups. Why is the eight of cups here? Yeah, you're watching them. You're keeping an eye on them but you're just staying emotionally detached. You are watching them, don't lie. You're watching them, you're still spying on them. I'm not saying aggressively, okay? But I do feel that you're still keeping an eye on them, wanting to see what they're up to, or probably just trying to see if they're feeling guilty at all, or if they're gonna come back, or you know, like something like that. But you're keeping an eye on them, okay? You're stalking them too. Not aggressively, like I said, but definitely trying to keep some information on them, asking about them indirectly to your friends but emotionally detached is what you're doing okay you're walking away what's the six of wands in reverse <laughs> yeah see this person out here sees you as emotionally detached they say you exactly how you want them to see you they think you're emotionally detached they know they've hurt you a lot okay and um now, I'm getting two things here. Either this person, there is a mother figure out here that's coming between you and this person out here, A. Secondly, a mother, sister, whatever, right? But someone of significance. If not, then this is this person here who's, who's, um, 
who thinks you're emotionally detached okay they think you don't care about them anymore all your focus is on yourself now okay on your self care self love is what what is the kind of vibe that you're giving this person and that's why they feel that it may not work out even if they approach you okay because you're being very cold to be honest very emotionally manipulated they don't they, they can't get the kind of signal that you're giving them okay they don't get it they just feel you don't love them anymore king of wands in reverse king of wands in reverse I feel you were holding on to this person for all this while, right? Very rigid, very stubborn. You wanted something stable, something structured with them, right? I think you're letting them go. And I think you're looking towards other options, other prospects, or just more involved in something that is a hobby or starting a new job or something like that. I don't think uh, you're waiting for this person anymore because you're not taking any action towards them. That's for fucking sure, all right? Um, I think you're not, you're, you're being, like I said, very laid back. You're not doing what you got to do and you don't want to do it also probably because you've been doing it all this while and you got nothing back in return. So I feel you're releasing this person out here. Okay. Because A, this person comes out to be very, very immature. All right. With the page of wands here. And you probably even have a realization that maybe this person just wants to keep it light. All right. They just want to keep, make it all fun and games, very casual, very immature energy and not as serious as you are because you're the queen of swords out here. Right. You mean business. They don't. They're more like, let's see how it goes. Go with the flow kind of energy. I think you're just letting them go. Don't think you want to. Ten of swords. See? You feel backed up, betrayed by this person out here. Like, I gave it my all and what the fuck did you do? The problem here is, you know what? The thing is that um, it's not the love. It's not what you ask is wrong. I think it's who you ask from is wrong. You're asking for a, for commitment from a page of wands. From five of swords, you know, these energies are clearly non-committal. There's someone who just doesn't know how to handle this shit, okay? And you're coming up as the queen of swords, the queen of cups, someone who's very, very mature. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. You have that emotional maturity. You have that maturity, but you've gone through shit. You've learned a lot, your experiences, right? And that's the kind of person that you're getting attracted to and wanting something stable with. So that's the problem out here, okay? This person, I don't feel this person has... Uh, intentionally tried to hurt you. I just feel that once things got serious, right? This person didn't know what to do with you. And the only way they could see is just run away from it. Escapist. All right. Let's see. What's the page of cups here? Why is this the outcome? Whoa, hermit. So they're coming towards you, but you're choosing to stay sharp. No entry is what you're saying. That's what they're going to read when they're going to message you, when they're going to call you. The person you're calling is unavailable, unreachable. You're choosing to stay shut to this person out here. You're disconnecting from them, okay? But they're coming in with that apology. Like I said, there is emotional communication. Could be through social media. Could be through a text call, friends, whatever, right? They will try to indirectly reach you. But uh, they're coming in. But you're just choosing to stay shut off, okay? You just want to stay emotionally detached. I feel it's more like, you know, you're just ghosting them is what I'm getting here. So they will reach out. But I think you're going to choose not to reply to them. Because again, with the three of cups in reverse and the hermit, I think you need your space. I don't think you're ready for this right now. All right, that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.